Hey guys, thanks for joining me. It's QGIS with Drew. We're going to go over how to make a contour map with QGIS. It's very easy. I've had a lot of people ask me how to do that. And it's really simple if you know what you're doing. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. And let's start out here with, we have a project open. Uh, I have the open street map layer already created. Uh, go to a, one of my older tutorials to find out how to do that. It's very simple. Uh, I also have downloaded a DEM from the USGS. This is a one-third arc DEM. Uh, it is uh, one-third arc means that it's approximately 100 feet by 100 feet. Each pixel is approximately 100 feet by 100 feet. If you zoom in, you can kind of see the pixels there. That's 100 feet uh, on each side of those pixels. So this is what a one-third arc USGS DEM looks like. Um, what we want to do here is find an area that we can look at the contours. And so what I want to do is use OSM again, OpenStreetMap again, to get the boundary of a county or a city or something like that. So what we're going to do is, it's very simple. You go up to Vector, Quick OSM. Again, go back to another tutorial to find out how to install that. Quick OSM, we're going to query on the canvas extent. We're going to query on a boundary, and then we're going to query on administrative boundaries, and then we're just going to run that. And we're going to get all the administrative boundaries on the canvas extent. So do not zoom out and do that query because you're going to get a lot of stuff um, because there are a lot of administrative boundaries in the area. So what I have here is all the boundaries that we have on our canvas extent, and we don't need the line or the point. So we'll remove those layers. And what we're going to do is give the other boundaries a label so that we know what the heck it is. So we'll just go ahead and quickly apply that and see what they all are. Um, and then we can just zoom in and, and take a look here. And what I want to do is I want to use Scott County here. So one way to find that, uh, you can click on that. Uh, if you want, but you can also search for that. If you can't find it, you can go to the attribute table and you can field, use the field filter, go to a name, and then to start typing and you'll, you'll get what you need. And then you go ahead and press enter and then you have right here all the info on that one, f at, uh, one field there. So that's fine, but we have it uh, cl clicked on, we've clicked on this, we've selected this. I'm going to right click on the, the boundary administrative layer and go ahead and export save select feature as. So we're going to, we're going to save that as in, in uh, EPSG 3857. So we're going to name that Scott County, Scott County. And we're going to use the shape file format. And right here, now we have a, a single shape file of Scott County. So we're going to get rid of the other boundary administrative layers, remove those layers. And what we want now, though, is to get the DEM parse uh, data of Scott County. So that's not too hard either. So all you really need to do, though, is go up here, extract it. You clip raster by mask layer, but the problem is right now this DEM is probably in a different uh, is using meters instead of feet, and we really need to use feet. So let's check and see if it's using meter. I know I know that in this area it should be about 800 or 900 feet above sea level. So we're going to click on that. We're going to go to info. I'm going to click on it. I just see where it's at 287.4. So that that area I clicked on right here. Uh, that's that's telling me that pixel says it's 288 feet above sea level. So that means it's in meters. Uh, so we're going to have to change that before we, before we create our contours just for ease of use. Um, that's not too hard, though. You can see over here, too, this is the lowest and this is the highest area in the DEM. So you can already tell that if you, you don't really need to click on it, you can go over here and just check if it's at, if it's at like a hundred to 500, you're probably going to be in meters. If you're going to be, be somewhere around two to 1200, you're probably going to be in feet. So 
Let's go up here to the raster calculator. We're going to go ahead and click on that DEM layer. And the way to uh, convert that from meters to feet is really simple. You just multiply by 3.2808. But what you want to do is definitely you're going to save that DEM feet, you can call it. Uh, it's in the G GeoTIFF format. We're going to keep it at EPSG3857. Go ahead and do that. It takes a little bit of time to calculate all that. And then you're going to have, let's just take that off. You can't see anything because other DEM is above it. Oh, nope, it's above that other DEM. So what we didn't do, oh, yeah, so... <laughs> So we created, we created, we converted the entire thing into feet, which is fine. I was going to do it a different way, but that's fine too. So the entire D, the DEM is now in feet, as you can see over here, 600 to 1300 feet or so, the bottom and the topmost pixel. Um, and so we don't really need the old DEM anymore. So we'll go ahead and remove that. But what we really want is to extract that now. We want to extract that DEM in that area. So we go up to here to extract, clip raster by mask layer, DEM feet. That's the one we want. Make sure you have that one instead of any other raster layer you have on here that you don't want to use. And then you're going to use the Scott County. And you're going to usually want to make sure that these uh, CRS uh, CRSs are the same. So you run that, it'll take a second, and then you go ahead and look at that. So here we have it, you can see already, here is the clipped DEM. So that is wonderful. Now we can save all this stuff and go have a sandwich or something, but what we're gonna do here is quick show you how to create contours out of that DEM. So we have that DEM and we're going to go back up to raster and we're going to do contour. We're going to click on contour and contour comes up and you're going to make sure the input layer is that clip DEM and the band is almost always going to be band one gray for any DEM. So don't worry about that too much. The interval now is going to be a 10 beat between contour lines versus if we use the other DEM, it would be 10 meters. So it's a very big difference. So you're going to want to make sure you have the right uh, DEM. Um, so then we go ahead and run that. Okay, there we got the contours all set up here. Now there's a lot of vertices in there. So all of a sudden you have a lot more memory uh, usage and it gets a little more laggy, especially you have a lot of contours and a lot of uh, that are like one or two feet apart. But these are 10 feet apart. Now we want to know what the contours are. So we're going to go ahead and label them. Double click on the contours polygon layer here. And then we're going to add a label, single la label. And we're going to add the elev, elev label. We're going to change that to Arial. And actually, let's let's change the color to, well, let's just keep, yeah, let's keep it black. So then you apply that. And then what we're going to get is all these ugly numbers all over the place. And that's when you have to start creating a little bit of, you know, fin finessing that styling. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and make make the contour lines white. We'll keep or make the or actually the labels white and then we'll make the contour lines black. But first we'll make the labels white a little bit smaller and it's really important to get them on the line. So we're going to go ahead and use a mask. We're going to change the placement so that they're curved and they're on the line, not above the line. And then you apply that and you can see that, you know, at this, at this level out, zoomed out that they're, you can, you can see that they're on the line, but some of them you can't see it right now. Uh, and then what we want though really is, let's zoom in a little bit more. We really do want that mask applied as well so that we don't see the line behind the label. So go to the mask, make sure you have the symbol layer checked and the mask source checked and you apply that. And then what we're going to have is uh, the, the line behind it disappears. So that 
that is a great thing that helps us out. And then, of course, um, we're going to go ahead to those contours. Again, double click on that, go to symbology, let's change that to black. And we're going to make that a bit more thick. And then we have, uh, there we have it, we have some contours. So that's how to do basic contours. And we could take off the uh, the background DEM and we could just have contours on the open street map to have more of a sense of where things, uh, what elevation things are at. Um, we could also smooth out these contours a little bit. That is one thing that is helpful. So yeah, we're gonna want the processing toolbox up because you gotta use the processing toolbox a lot. Uh, you're gonna search for smooth in here and then you're gonna click on smooth and then you're gonna make sure you have the right input layer and then we're gonna add maybe four four iterations and that will work for us and that should smooth out our lines quite a bit. After you do a process like this, uh, you know, it'll take a little bit, but uh, what it does is it actually makes new lines that are smooth. So we're gonna have to redo the whole process and you can see if you look at this right here how, how it smooths the line so what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and clear away that contour line we're going to keep this one up we're going to click on that do some uh, symbology work we're going to make that black we're going to increase the thickness of that we're going to do the whole label thing again single labels elevation Text, we're going to use Arial. We're going to, uh, let's do red. Arial red. I'm going to use a mask here. We're going to place this curved on the line, not above the line. Apply that to see what it looks like. And yeah, let's see here. So yeah, you can see it. It's working. It takes a little bit of time. It's kind of run run zoomy zoomy uh, but you can see that the mask is not on that so we have to go to the mask click on the mask symbol there click on the label mask apply that and then it should come up but as you can see with contours of this sort oops ah uh, it takes a little while. There's a lot of contours, there's a lot of vertices, a lot of memory being used, so you have to be patient sometimes. Um, but yeah, so that's that's how you make a simple contour map using a DEM in QGIS. And the next time we get together, I'll talk about how to use the attribute table and how to stylize the lines a little bit more. Thanks, and if you like this, please uh, follow me. Please watch my other videos, and have a good day.